Francois? That's what she'll get. Good morning, or good afternoon, Supervisors. Um, I agree with you, uh, Mr. Stone, about the uh, Morola contract, the pensions, and the rather difficult decisions you all have to make. So, appreciate that. Uh, back to my normal topic. It is not even wrong. Those were famous words by a quantum physicist, uh, Wolfgang Pauli, after reading a bad student paper. I am for churches, Jeff Stone, January 12, 2010. That's a case of not even wrong. That statement was simply wrong because it violates your oath to the Constitution of the United States First Amendment, the Establishment cause. Clause. Government institutions shall not be used to support any religions, basically what it says. But that statement was further not even wrong because Scientology, in many's opinion, is not a religion. L. Ron Hubbard himself said, Scientology has opened the gates to a better world. It is not a psychotherapy nor a religion. He said that in 1971. Uh, in 1970, uh, it was being planned as a religious organizational basis throughout the world. It was entirely a matter for accountants and solicitors. Scientology is, in fact, a cult. That's my definition of it, because they worship a person as opposed to a deity. Now, we're, we've seen two preachers uh, praise your effort, Mr. Stone, here. Uh, the way I see it is if you cut the red tape for a church in your area, you are given preference to a church as opposed to other citizens that may have to wait further down the line. So. Also, of course, uh, in your district, Scientology here is, um, is really a big problem. Uh, it was naive to believe the anonymous pamphlet uh, that Scientology gave you, and it is equally naive to believe it's a church. It is not a church because all these human rights abuses that they're, uh, they're doing, I don't know how my time is here, but they have uh, human rights violations of, uh, I won't read them because they're up on the screen, labor violations, safety violations, medical neglect, election violations, and abuse of the law. My pet peeve is that American citizens are prevented from voting at Gold Base. Okay, I've spoken to six different people that will come here and say that. American citizens that cannot vote prevented from voting. That is absolutely outrageous. So I'll leave you with this. Uh, Mr. Jerry Armstrong gave you a letter about a year ago, and I'll give you a copy of it again. I think you need to reread that. And also another quote from Hubbard, there was no Christ. And the only way you can control people is to lie to them. All right? Thank you. Your time is up. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, that's the last uh, public speaker, unless uh, Steve Matthews has come back into the room. And we'll see him. So that concludes our Mr. Public Chair, uh, I'm just going to make a, a mm -hmm. couple of brief comments. Uh, okay. First of all, um, I appreciate the, the courtesy that uh, Mr. Chiquette comes up, and uh, he obviously has very strong feelings about the Scientology Church, um, and I, I appreciate the fact that he thinks that I cut deals for churches to come into the 3rd District. Uh, everybody is treated equally. Uh, yes, I am uh, a believer that uh, churches are a great foundation uh, throughout our country, and I will work with churches to uh, find places of worship and work with them through the county uh, bureaucracy, which can be very complicated, just like I would work with a, a hospital looking to locate in the third district or a home builder looking in the third district, but nobody is getting any preferential treatment. They get good service from, from my office. Uh, now, certainly, Mr. Chiquet can utilize the forum of um, our board meetings to, to vent about his um, criticisms and discriminations, if you will, of the Scientology Church. I don't know what he expects us to do here in the county. I don't know if he expects me to agendize that we should abolish the Scientology religion, uh, which is uh, a fundamental uh, right under the Constitution to believe in what you want to believe. 
he's preaching to the wrong forum. If there are legal things going on at the Church of Scientology or any other church, he needs to bring those issues to a district attorney, to the U.S. Attorney's Office, to the President of the United States. But we are a board of supervisors that govern uh, a county. We don't get involved in what people preach when they have nonprofit status as a church. I'm not going to vilify any uh, church that has been sanctioned by the federal government as being a bona fide church with nonprofit status. So, Mr. Shaked, you can come here and use this forum all that you want. There's nothing in the power of the Board of Supervisors to address the concerns that you have. You can go walk over to the District Attorney's Office. You can go walk over to the um, the uh, Sheriff's Office. You can go walk over to the U.S. Attorney's Office. You can walk over to the grand jury and tell them about all these heinous things, these allegations that you believe are going on, but this board cannot help you with your concerns. You're welcome to keep using us as a forum, and I appreciate the courtesy that you come and, and, and voice your opinions, and thank goodness we live in a democracy where you have the right to come up and criticize government, religion, private entities, and I respect you for that, but you're talking to a, a, a group of public officials that really cannot uh, intervene on your behalf. You need to take your allegations to the appropriate authorities. If you want to have their nonprofit status revoked for evidence that you have, you need to go make those claims to the appropriate agencies. So I welcome you here. You can keep using it as a forum, but there's nothing my colleagues or I can do uh, to help you with your discrimination against the Church of Scientology. Okay, thank you very much.